welcome to my Nissan 350Z and we've got to talk about red and Japanese meats. Now quite a lot of you will have heard about this meat and be very familiar with it and uh, last year it was cancelled for various reasons explained in the previous video but today a lot in the private Japanese group have decided to get together once again like the old end days in their Japanese cars Japanese cars to meet up. So, welcome to Reading. We are nearing the location. Making a lot of noise as per. Here is the entrance roundabout. I don't think there's anyone on the roundabout for once. No, there's not. So, welcome to the familiarity of the arrivals gate of Reading Jap Meet. We are back at the roundabout. And the first car to arrive at this now stricter Reading Japanese meet is a Golf. An E36 and an E46. Right. Oh, there we go. The first Japanese car, of course, is an MX-5 with purple neons. There's an MX-5 with neons. what sounds like a large convoy of cars arriving. Is that an S14 in there? I think it is. Here they all come. So of course there's an EP3 first. And there's another S14. We've got the Mazda Red example. Actively avoiding my ankles. <laughs> of course it wouldn't be complete without a Lexus IS. And in a weird way, it's not complete without an M2 something I who got cut up by some kind of Volkswagen thing. <laughs> and next to turn up is another S14. He's in a bit of a hurry. Okay, we're good. Oh yes, Lexus GS is in a bit of a rush. <laughs> There's a white R32 Skyline. And R32 number two. Fantastic. Graphite grey looking amazing in the night. Check out this E30. Calypso Red. It was coming in at quite a pace. A Mark 1 Mr. 2 is next to appear. As is a Lamborghini Murcielago LP670. I'm joking, it's an E36. This Fiesta may burst your eardrums, fortunately, I'm standing quite far away. It was popping flames earlier, but it stopped. Something else was downshifting, looks like a pulsar. There's a crowd of people already. <laughs> and behind the crowd of people, Casey Price is arriving. Of course, I do mean a Civic Jordan. We've got active downforce going on over here. And the first 350Z of the meet is actually pink. Ooh, slam to the ground. A lot of Audis arriving together. We've got a rather noisy golf appearing next. And an E39. Could that be the first V8 of the night? Someone's whining. Ah, oh, the noisy golf has returned. Oh, it's quiet. Nice. Very good. Oh, right. I think I know what's about to happen. Ooh. This golf doesn't seem to mind too much that a launch is... There we go. And our next arrival is a white Toyota Chaser because everyone loves a white Chaser. Although I couldn't hear that one at all. So a standard white Chaser. And now a pair of three series arrive, a 46 and a 30. <laughs> I'm also very grateful for the Reading Borough Council for preparing for the night and cutting the lawn so we can see down the road a lot better, so thanks for that. Okay, next up we've got a pair of Evos, a wagon, and his mates, and another Toyota Chaser, this one in black, listen to this. Oh yes. MX-5 seem to arrive in 2x2 two two as well, a 1 and a 2 next to each other. Who's this with the spoiler? It's an RX-7, nice, nice. Today's first departure appears to be a stager going home. What the devil have we got now? Turo 6 GTI and a pair of other hats. 
Sprax about to arrive in style. Whoa! That was four cylinder, five cylinder, six cylinder in that order. And next up at the pop up headlights appreciation owners club, what I missed it to in the MX5, the Toyota 6 GTI is back. Doing a flyby. Noisy, noisy, noisy. Turbo Demix 5. So happy. It is now time for the first R35 GTR of the night. The R35 is back, sounding really nice actually. And next, a pair of Subarus are rumbling past. It sounds like someone inside is doing either a burnout or some donuts. It sounds like a six cylinder BMW. I can't see anything. Maybe we should go inside and see what's there. So let's have a look inside at the great variety of cars that are at this meet. And if you want to see a great variety of cars yourself in the summer, remember Adam Seafest is on the 3rd of June, Bank Holiday Friday. There's all the details in the description of the video. So today I gather that the meet is not this side. It is in fact this side, which is where it was the last few months of last year. I'm actually looking forward to seeing what's inside because I never really get a chance to have a look inside the meet because I just capture arrivals and then departures, so. There is a giant crowd of people gathered around an AA van, so <laughs> maybe something's happened that I've missed? It's eerily quiet. It's a weird scene. There's just groups of people standing around talking. It's almost like it's a calm and social activity, like a calm it should be. They're chatting about stance and wheels and turbos and stuff, and trying to learn how to park in between the white lines. It's only once you get into the meet that you can really appreciate how many cars have turned up. But the star of the show is this Mazda Red Nissan S14. So currently in the UK car scene, we have a great amount of really nice looking S14s, and this is certainly one of them. The turnout is very decent for kind of like the first one in a while. We've got Type R's everywhere, boosted barges, the Toyota Crown, we've even got an old Datsun, is that a Lovell? I didn't even see this come in. Datsun Lovell, two-tone, very beige. And the idol that you may be able to hear is this white R32. He's putting his seatbelt on. I think he may be one of the first departures from the show. Now the beauty of this particular car park is I'm quite close to the exit over there. Everyone's telling me to run because they know that... They know I want the content. I'm not gonna run, I don't need to run. I might need to run. So welcome to the freshly mowed departure lounge of Reading Jack Meat and the white R32. doing some donuts. What a lovely duet that was. Oh, a little flame on the end there. But now that it's safer to do so, I think there's no more 3 Series. I'm going to head back in and see what else there is in the car park. So we have another one of the S14s next to a Volvo with a very vertical bonnet. And further around we have the Toyota Chaser next to the RX-7. A lot of JDM royalty has turned up tonight. Quite the sizeable spoiler on the back of this RX-7. It sounds like there's a BMW 3 Series doing a burnout in the background, but I'm going to film this S14 that has turned up. White wheels looking very nice, the green bodywork. I'm trying to compete with the BMW. Um, what else have we? Of course, the white Toyota Chaser, because everyone loves a white Chaser. Next door to the Subarus as a pair, we've got the Mr. 2, the MX-5, and a 350Z. People are running. There's an MX-5 with neons. Bring neons back. Oh, what a day. And whilst it's another one of the non-Japanese cars, I am liking this Mark 7 Golf. On the floor it is a GTD. We have an MX-5 passing by the MX-5s. Mark 2.5, a Mark 1, and another Mark 1. Sounds like the E46 is doing something on the roadside now. Sounds like a burnout. Looks like a burnout. Well, now it's 
perhaps more of a jab for me, it's because there's one less BMW, maybe we could say that. Here is the pink 350Z with the wheels turned, let's get the angles, a little bit dark in the shadows. And in front of the IS we've got two Civic Jordans parked up next to a Sora with white wheels, I didn't see that coming at all, maybe it was an early arrival. Also notice this green teal Mark 1 MX-5, very clean, I believe there to be three Volvos here tonight, here's a pair of them next to an IS with a missing front bumper, we've got the white side skirts and I think white around the rear as well. He's apparently a bit of a troublemaker. Our latest arrival is this blue S2000 with the hardtop, driving past this blue S2000 with a hardtop. It sounds like there's something doing laps, there's a Celica GT4, but there's definitely something with an RB that's been going back and forth on the exit. There's a crowd of people as per usual. It's actually amazing how dead it is in here because all of the owners are on the exit waiting for cars to leave, but they own the cars that are going to leave, so no one's leaving. It sounds like there's an E30 doing a burnout. I can't see because it's, oh, there it is. It's always the BMWs, isn't it? At Reading Japanese meets. Oh, I think it's the R32 that's been doing laps. That's the RB that I've heard. And the Audi, maybe. <laughs> the mist of the tire smoke from the E30 is onto the road now. I think he's about to leave. The crowd is all the way down there. I'm all the way up here. Howdy ho! Oh, I can hear the E30 doing some bits. I think I'm going to head over to the departure lounge and film all the cars leaving but that's going to be in a separate video so make sure you're subscribed and click that bell to be notified of when that video goes live so I hope you enjoyed that video go follow me on Instagram for the updates and highlights of these meets that I go to but for now thanks for watching